Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Akakodash. I want to see the apostles and the elders that do a great new soul. The peace and salutation to the Akiah Mode pushing this gospel in sincerity and truth. And shalom to you, humble and sincere sisters out there as well. This is the Bada Kalam. Come back at you again with another lesson entitled Let Him Go. You know, to let go. This lesson would entail the fact that we are incapable of fighting our battles for ourselves. We look through the scriptures we see with King David, with Gideon, in the days of Joshua, we, we, we look even in the days of, of, of Judas, Maccabeus, right? We see all the, the many wars and battles that Israel had fought and conquered in the name of the Lord. And then the Bible shows us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and, 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 and powers and of the darkness of this world, you know? That it is a spiritual battle. And I'm here to say that in the same manner that the Lord had caused Israel to win all those physical wars, the Lord will cause us to win our spiritual wars, our spiritual wars. The Bible says anything that is born of Yahweh overcometh the world. You understand? And that in Yahweh Shai we had already overcome the world because he had overcome the world. So when I say let go, there are certain things that we may try to face on our own and we may try to fight by ourselves, but we can't. We need the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to fight against this world. Right? And to fight against certain demons that may come against us. A lot of brothers, you know, you may go through depression or you may go through anxiety or, or physical ailments in the body or, or some form of um, addiction, whether it be porn or masturbation or you know anything that you try to fight right and you continue to fail right you continue to fail you continue to to, to uh, just not make it you know and the reason why reason why you're unable to make it and because we in of our, ourselves we possess no strength we are merely, merely vessels you understand we are merely vessels empty vessels and the Lord is the one that needs to fill us up this is the book of Psalms chapter 55 and verse 22 cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Right? So we cast our burdens upon our Lord. We cast our burdens upon our strength. You understand? A lot of a lot of things I you know from personal experience. I I didn't, it had plenty things I, I feel at, you understand, and it's only through the spirit of the Lord, praying and asking Yahweh Hashem Yahushai for strength, you know, I received it, hey, you know, I received it, and I've, I've, I've observed brothers receiving strength as well and you know we say Kala la liam la yahaw ba shem yahaw shai ba shem akakodash for being there with us boy for knowing that if he were to depart from us in that very same moment we should die we shall die we would die for the lord is the light in our lamp you understand he is this the sight in our eyes you know and, and, and the beating in our hearts the lord is the 
breath in our lungs, easy joy in our smiles and in our laughter, we strengthen our bones, you understand, and it creates courage in our hearts, man. Yaba Shemel shines our strength. This is Deuteronomy 20, verse 4. For Yahweh, your power is He that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Right? Our enemies are, are spiritual. He saw as you know. This was there physically, but this is a spiritual battle. And we need our Bashem El Shai to overcome this world. This, uh, this cruel, evil, painful place, boy. In this hell. You know, we need our Bashem El Shai to, to, to really make it out here, boy. You know, Bible show you a, a man that has little wisdom, but you know, fear the Lord is better than a man with, with plenty of wisdom and no fear. You know? We seek wisdom and knowledge and understand. We see, hey, we, we seek all these things to, 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 seek, to, to receive the mercy of the Lord, you know? to please the Master, so that He would dwell with us and sup with us and, and, and be with us you know? and fight for us. Of Isaiah and I'll close off here chapter 44 and verse 1 yet now hear O Jacob my servant and Israel whom I have chosen thus saith Yahweh that made thee and formed thee from the womb which will help thee fear not O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jezerun, whom I have chosen. Right? Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will help Israel. He will help the elect. And Lord will we of that number. Isaiah 40 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting power, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. The Bible says, Nothing shall separate you from the love of Yahweh that is in Yahweh Shai. No suffering or tribulation or persecution or anguish. Hey, you must pray to Abba Shem El Shai, Yakim, Wak Wakim. And pray the Lord and have mercy on you, you know, and endure to the end. Make it out of here, well. So with that hope this was edified, our praises and our glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Akar Kodash, Shalom.